Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. Was able to get out downtown uh, yeah. to grab some coffee this afternoon. It's so nice. I know. I mean, it? right in downtown. I know that it's like scattered situations for some folks. Yeah, and you missed out on there was just one little area of rain, but it didn't follow you. It didn't you. follow <laughs> me, which you know what? Odds are it normally does. You know me. <laughs> Well, I, if I was nearby, we would have surely <laughs> had the downpour over top of us. But no, uh, most of Metro Detroit is dry. We have had a couple of isolated areas of rain. I'll show you one in just a moment. And I showed you the other at the top of the show. All right, Detroit's at 81. Howell is 81, also in Adrian. And it's 82 right now in Pontiac. Winds are out of the southwest, anywhere from the west-southwest to the southwest at about 10 miles per hour. We still have a couple of showers possible tonight, mainly south of I-94, but a couple could creep a little bit further to the north. Next chance for rain will come on Friday night into the pre-dawn hours Saturday, but it doesn't look like it will affect our weekend at this point, as long as the timing stays the same, and then more storms likely to start next week, much like we started this week. All right, let's talk about that one little area of rain. It's now just now moving out. Uh, it just crossed the gross points and now it's starting to move out over the lake. So not a problem for us here in Metro Detroit. If you have outdoor plans, keep that forewarn weather app handy, but most of the uh, Metro Detroit area will stay dry tonight. So let's time things out for you. Eight o'clock tonight can't rule out a couple of scattered showers and then overnight, as I said, south of I-94 will get the heaviest rain. If you live in Monroe or down by the Ohio border, you'll get more rain than we will across the rest of Metro Detroit. So this is a problem that's going to be a bit south of us. Doesn't mean something couldn't creep up north, but uh, at this point it looks like a bigger issue south of Detroit. Then tomorrow, tomorrow's still a little bit in question. The cold front has to come through tomorrow, which we would expect would touch off a couple of showers, but our data is not really showing it amounting to very much at all. So I think the majority of tomorrow is going to be dry. We can't rule out a stray shower, but I wouldn't plan for any rain tomorrow if you're making some outdoor activity plans. 83 in Mount Clemens, upper 70s at Metro, 82 in Pontiac, 80 in Ann Arbor, and 81 in Port Huron. Let's take a quick peek up north. If you're headed up north this weekend, looks like a beautiful weekend, and it's another one of those days where it's warmer in Alpena than it is here in Detroit. We've had that a couple of times this week. Rain chances over the next seven days. We've got just that slight chance for the next few days, but our best chance for widespread showers comes on Monday, and our highs are right on track with where they should be for this time of year. Your forecast for tonight, 65 degrees. The rain that we get to the south will come to an end overnight, leaving us with a pretty nice day tomorrow. Very slight chance of a shower, but I wouldn't worry about too much rain tomorrow or for the weekend. Anything that falls Friday night should be out of here by the start of the day on Saturday, setting us up for a nice weekend. All right, sounds good. Like the lavender, Kim. Reviving. Reviving. Getting those summer colors done, right? Yeah, right.